And as we look at uh, agricultural equipment, especially like this baler here, uh, we want to make sure to check those guards because as you look at this equipment, you have a very serious entanglement hazard with the power takeoff shaft or commonly referred to as the PTO. Now let's take a look here at this PTO shaft. This baler has been brought in for the winter to be serviced here in our shop. So we have uh, this PTO shaft uh, and it's telescoping. And you can see here that this shield is seized. You can see that it doesn't come apart when we slide it. So we need to update this shield uh, and those shields can come in a variety of different things. The reason why we want to do this is that there's a very serious uh, entanglement hazard uh, when we have damaged guards like this and this could result in uh, death or even a serious injury such as the loss of limb. So we want to make sure to address these uh, and get them taken care of before we start the next season. With the different types of guarding you have for power takeoff shafts, you can have some that are metal. Uh, and this one, for instance, is, is really seized up. So we want to replace that. And we have here an example of a replacement shield uh, that's made out of plastic. So a lot of your replacement or even some of your newer ones um, will be out of this polymer type material. Uh, and they'll have special bearings that ride in these grooves here for our power takeoff shaft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay attention to these grooves in the length of our shaft. Some common tools you might find like a, a dial caliper here, a uh, tape measure, you're gonna need um, a hacksaw, some uh, bearing grease. Uh, sometimes you might need to be persuasive with a chisel and a hammer or even a punch. So we got some rags and as well as some additional sockets and ratchets that we can use to uh, make our adjustments. So let's get started here and looking at how we might replace this power takeoff guard uh, with a new one. So what we wanna first do is we're gonna take and measure this bearing from this bearing to the length of the shaft and we wanna make check that measurement and then we wanna subtract three inches. So we've got uh, here in this picture here, we've got uh, 12 inches, we're we'll just round up to 12, and then we're gonna have subtract three, so that will make it nine inches. So we wanna make sure that our shafts from, on this piece, from where the bearing rides, here in this lever, we wanna make sure that that measures that nine inches we want, okay? So let's get started, and what we'll do is we'll cut this PTO shaft, this other side, uh, to length. So I've got the uh, replacement PTO shaft. Now with this type of uh, PTO shaft uh, uh, guard, you can come, it comes in a variety of different sizes. So we wanted to make sure that we have the right size. So a lot of oftentimes we wanna make sure and measure either our old uh, guard or we take a dial caliper and we measure uh, what that bearing uh, is. So we can take our dial caliper. And it looks to be two, two and a third. So we can use that 2.3 inches and find whether or not we need the big diameter. And in this case we do, or the smaller diameter that comes from Barco. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and secure it so that I can cut it with my hacksaw using this vise. Okay, I don't want to over squeeze it because it is plastic. So I'm gonna take my tape measure and we're gonna measure from this bearing groove down and we wanna cut it at nine inches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to slide my tube back just a little bit. Mark nine inches. I'm gonna take my hacksaw. Making sure we're gonna make a straight cut. All right, and it's that simple. So the next step, 
is to then get the bearing that comes with our Barco replacement shield and find that bearing based on the measurement we had, and grease that, put that back, and then we can use these levers to lock the shield onto the uh, bearing so that the shield will spin independently from the shaft. Never grab a spinning um, PTO power takeoff. Uh, you always want to make sure to shut down the equipment. Anytime you make an adjustment connecting or disconnecting equipment, always wait to make sure that this is completely stopped. This is a very important piece uh, 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 for your safety uh, and make sure that, that the equipment is off. You've taken the key out and that the uh, baler and all the uh, spinning rotating shafts all have come to a complete stop. All right, with Barco, the replacement shields that they, they come with a, a, a nice set of instructions and, and other options that you might have. Uh, if you've got a, a, a variable joint, uh, you've got a, a, you know, different components, you wanna replace the levers, you can replace the levers. They have all those different things. The neat thing about uh, these uh, PTO shaft uh, guards is that you can release the, sh uh, the, the levers and then slide that shield back so that you can grease your uh, components that you need to. So it comes with this instruction set and it also comes with a variety of bearings. And uh, we wanna make sure and check and they'll have it noted on there what size these bearings are or you can take your dial caliper and we wanna measure that. So we're gonna take and measure that. And this one is the closest that we need to replace the shield on this PTO shaft. So I'm gonna put these on there, but first I wanna make sure to add some grease. That's why it's important to have your shop rags handy so that you can wipe off, and maybe even use gloves so you, know, you don't smell quite so righteous with this multi-purpose grease here. So you wanna make sure this tab right here on these bearings are facing your, your knuckle here. Get that locked in there. Okay. Now sometimes these tabs can be pretty persnickety but you get a flathead screwdriver or a chisel like so, and you can pop them out pretty easily, just like so. So we're gonna slide this down through the shield, making sure that that bearing sits in there really nice, and then lock it down with your tabs, okay? Same thing on this side from the top. Make sure that bearing sits in there. Lock in the tabs. And now we can align our PTO shaft together. And these should slide together. Both knuckles are, are phased or timed, which means that they're in the same orientation. So when we slide our PTO shaft together, I'm going to make sure that this knuckle here is in the same orientation as this knuckle here. And then if it's not, we need to rotate the shaft and re-slide it back together. We have our new uh, PTO shield perfectly ready to go. And if you ever need to grease uh, your knuckle here. You've got a port here to get your grease gun through or you can do like what we did earlier. Once you've got those tabs unlocked, you can take a little screwdriver, pop it out and that can slide forward and you can grab that grease bearing uh, pretty simply and, and easy access to. Uh, uh, and now we've got a new guard that's uh, ready to go for next season. Sometimes it'll be different on that PTO stub 
you'll have either a push pin or a locking bolt or sometimes a sliding collar, collar that you can slide and then release the uh, latch mechanism for your PTO implement driveline. So this one has a push button. So what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall this. We're going to take a moment, pop the, sh the shield off, and then slide this back onto the shaft and then attach the bolt. Match up, the, match up the keyway here with the key on the baler. And then slide it and get, get it all the way up there. We're gonna take a combination box, open in wrench and a ratchet and a socket and we're just gonna tighten this down to the torque space. Now we can slide our guard back on to the bearing. And you can see how that guard covers that connection point and that bolt is not exposed. So now we can make our latch here. All right. And then when we get done, we'll be able to attach our secondary guard on our knuckle we'll be able to bolt that piece and now all your rotating components are properly guarded your knuckle there on your on your implement drive line will connect here on this stub and then this shield this master shield will provide guarding over that knuckle so this is a pto master shield so we want to make sure that even on our equipment we also want to make sure also on our Tractors. So this is a master shield. Now these are not steps and you want to make sure that they can be uh, serviced as well and uh, replaced if, they, if needed. Sometimes they'll get bent from a tight turn in our PTO implement. Uh, driven implement will cause that to be damaged and we make sure that those are, are checked as a kind of a pre-check before the next season. So again your PTO input or your shaft or your PTO stub will connect here to the stub and you have a master shield on the tractor that can uh, guard that knuckle as well. With that, uh, thank you and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.